Hi everybody. Welcome to Ask the Baritone Baker. I'm John McKee and I'm here to answer all of your burning questions about baking. John, what are the different types of sugar and how are they used? Well, first of all, sugar is made by extracting sugar juice from sugar beet or sugar cane plants. Once the juice is extracted, it's purified and evaporated into crystalline form or evaporated with some impurities like molasses and made into turbinado or raw sugar. Brown sugar is made by adding molasses back into white sugar and dark brown sugar has more molasses than light brown. The crystals, crystals can be left whole granulated sugar or ground up super fine for various uses. If you heat the sugar, you can create caramel. White sugar is the most common form of sugar you'll find on the market. It has white crystals that dissolve well in liquids and oils. Powdered sugar is white sugar that has been ground finely and pressed through a sieve. In fact, the gentleman that trained me many, many years ago grew up in France, and he talked about how they used to have to go upstairs and grind their own powdered sugar. Commercial blends these days have 3% cornstarch added to prevent it from caking. And uh, powdered sugar is used in icings, candies, and whipped cream because it dissolves easily and completely. When you make a chef powdered sugar by grinding white sugar, you can make it by grinding it in a, uh, a coffee grinder. And if you're going to use it right away, you don't need to add the cornstarch. But if you were planning to store it, you can add one tablespoon of cornstarch to one cup of granulated sugar and grind them together. And if your powdered sugar has caked anyway, you can restore it by sifting or grinding it. So brown sugars, as I stated before, are made by adding molasses to the granulated sugar, creating a softer textured sugar. Light brown sugar has a mild caramel flavor and it's good for baked goods. Dark brown sugar can, has, has a stronger caramel flavor and is good for gingerbread, lead kuchen, and other spice cookies. I also like to use it in my cinnamon rolls because it gives it a real rich flavor. The moisture from the molasses helps keep baked goods moist. Brown sugar should be packed into the measuring cup for an accurate measurement every time because it's, uh, because it's so moist and that you want to pack it in so that you get a consistent measurement. Turbinado sugar is made by leaving the naturally occurring molasses in solution when you crystallize the sugar. The resulting sugar has a larger crystal structure, a light caramel flavor, and a golden hue. This is the sugar that is in the raw sugar packets. The sugar can be used in place of white sugar or on top of baked goods to encourage browning. So those are your different types of sugar. So thanks for tuning in to this episode of Ask the Baritone Baker. If you'd like to have your questions answered, please submit them via email to info at baritonebaker.com. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. And let's go bake some fun. Let's bake some fun.